Pro Wrestling Gamer. Welcome back to another live stream here on Twitch, guys. We're gonna do another tournament. It's gonna be Clan Killers Tournament number 66. And before we get into it, we got a lot of chests to open up. The tournament hasn't quite started yet, and it's not full. So if you guys want to get in on the action, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the details right now. So check that out, guys. We've got 35 out of 50 players. That means 15 spots remain. The password is Twitch, and the hashtag is on top of your screen. So if you guys want to join up, remember the password is Twitch. It's all lowercase letters. Feel free to join up. I would love to see you guys enter. I want to see who's going to win this tournament. But before we do anything, guys, we're gonna open up some chests so let's start with this cheap little challenge chest I got right here guys it's a level 2 tier 2 chest I did the draft challenge I failed miserably I admit it let's open it up see if something good comes out of it um, hopefully something cool does come out of it but unfortunately for me I don't have any luck in this game <laughs> so it's not gonna be anything good at all maybe we'll get a legendary out of a free chest this time it hasn't happened in a long time so maybe just maybe it'll happen this time all right guys we're gonna head on over to um all these chests right here, we're going to start off with the free ones, work our way into the gold ones, then the crown, then the magical, or actually, we'll probably go ahead and open up this clan chest after we get done with the crown, and then finally the magical chest. So let's go ahead and open these bad boys up, see if we get a legendary out of a free chest. A lot of people seem to be able to do that, except me. I keep trying. Every single time I do a live stream, I keep trying, and I keep failing, guys. It just sucks. I don't know why I can't get one. I do get some epics every now and then, though, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of epics, what I'm hoping to get, guys, it's not Epic Sunday yet, so I can't really request witches, but what I am hoping to get is a few more witches. I need 11 more witches to upgrade her, so hopefully I can get 11 witches. That would be nice. Maybe get some out of the clan chest, crown chest, magical chest. Come on, let's do this. Maybe even out of the golden chest. So let's see what comes out of these golden chests, guys. So far, nothing too good. Nothing that I use. I don't use any of those. I am getting a lot of Goblin Gangs, and I might be able to upgrade it very, very soon once again. I think it's level 7 right now. Don't quote me on that, guys. I think it might be level 7. Actually, I should be paying attention every time I get some Goblin Cards, so I can actually know what it's up. Um, maybe I'll get some more Goblin Gangs right now. Nope, Spear Goblins. Ooh, Battle Ram, and I haven't upgraded that in a long time. You see right there, it's still level 2. I just don't use the Battle Ram, so I don't upgrade it. Crown Chest time. Oh my god, what's going to come out of the crown chest, guys? I hope something good. After this, we're doing the clan, then the magical, and then we're going to go ahead and check up on the tournament, guys. Remember, there are 15 spots, so yeah, it is a level 7, and I can upgrade it right now. Goblin Gang can be upgraded to level 8, but I don't use it, so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade it or not. And there is an epic, too bad it was not a witch. I was really hoping it would be, but we got an expo. We don't even use those. It's still level 2. So, moving along, we're going to go and open up this clan chest. Guaranteed epic card. Let's see if we can get a witch out of it. And if not, guaranteed epics out of the magical chest. Hopefully, we can get a witch out of that one. That was a nice, healthy amount of gold, though. I'll take that. 42 zap spells is pretty cool. Some dark goblins, which I don't use, but I plan on using in the future. And we got a battle ram. Here comes the epic, guys. What's going to come out? Balloons. Oh, my God. Why balloons? I did not want balloons. I wanted freaking witches. But we got balloons. Alright. So we got one more chance to get a couple of witches, guys. Maybe we can get them out of this magical chest. Maybe we'll even get a legendary. I don't know. Some gold. Some skeletons. Battle rams. More goblin gangs. Dark goblins again. Some more royal giants. We're getting pretty close to upgrading the royal giant. And I do use the royal giant. It's level 11 right now. Soon to be level 12. Check that out. Um... Damn, 15 Barbarian Huts. Not a good thing. I don't like Barbarian Huts. And no! Uh, so no witches for Pro Wrestling Gamer this time, guys. Bad luck for me all around. It happens. It happens. But it does make me kind of disappointed and sad. I wanted to get some witches. So I'm going to have to go ahead and wait until Epic Sunday when I can request some more witches for my clan. Because it's right now... I cannot get any in the shop or anything like that, which sucks really badly. Let's go back to the tournament and check up on it, guys. It's almost about to start. So we got three minutes till it starts. And it looks like somebody else just joined. 36 out of 50 players. If you guys want to join up, the password is Twitch, all lowercase letters. So remember, when you type in Twitch, do not use cap locks. And the hashtag is on the top of your screen. I'm going to go ahead and let that final... Uh, those last three minutes expire. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a chance to join up. So if you guys are watching and you want to get in on the tournament, I will be live streaming every single battle start to finish. Make sure that you guys go ahead and type in that hashtag. It'll take you to the tournament and the password is Twitch. We have 14 spots remaining. We shall have back-to-back -back battles. 
at least I'm hoping we do guys I'm hoping everybody in the tournament is active they usually are so it shouldn't be a bad deal um, what do you guys think of the draft challenge that's something I'm kind of curious about let's see let's go over to the challenges so we got the brand new draft challenge um, it's actually been around for a while but they brought it back again guys people get to pick four of your cards and then you get to select four of your own random cards it's kind of hard to play draft challenge I've never had any luck in it I always get the crappiest decks that is why I had a tier 2 draft challenge chest because I got my ass handed to me but I don't know what you guys think about it personally I don't like it I don't like it because I don't get to pick my deck and I always get my ass kicked but that's just me personally all right back on over to the tournament still 14 spots guys two minutes remain you guys can still join up right now still got a good chance of getting some loot and having some fun hashtags on the top of your screen and the password is twitch so if you guys are interested in joining up now is the time guys now is the time type in that hashtag and then type in the password all lowercase letters it is twitch um all I got to say guys we got two minutes to kill or I can just go ahead and start it right now I'm half tempted to just start it right now because players will start pouring in every now and then I do expect them to but again guys password is twitch in case you guys are wondering hashtags on the top of your screen let me go look at the shop one more time actually you know what I could do I could probably upgrade this goblin gang let's see if I can upgrade it let's see if I got enough gold to get it done I probably do where the hell is it at oh goblin gang Damn, I don't know where it is. I know I can donate plenty of Goblin Gang. See, I never even used that card, so it's not even here. Okay, here it is. Oh, 2,000 gold. Man, we're going to upgrade that right away. So let's go ahead and upgrade the Goblin Gang to level 8. Now it's actually a usable level. It's definitely a usable level right now at level 8. I can't upgrade it again, though. I need 400 cards. So I do have 153, so I'm getting kind of close to getting up, up to level 8, considering it's a common, and it drops a lot. Goblin Gang wasn't dropping at all when they first released it because they wanted you to buy it with some gems. But after that sale went down, it is dropping a lot. Alright guys, 35 seconds left before the tournament starts. The hashtag is on the top of your screen. we got 14 spots remaining and the password is Twitch. So let's see what happens guys. Let's see who's going to be the winner. It's definitely not going to be me because I won't be battling. I'll just be spectating and watching you guys' battles. Hopefully we get some interesting battles today, guys. Hopefully we get some close calls on the top spot. That's always what I love to see. I love to see player one versus player two. So let's see what happens, guys. Ten seconds till it starts. Once again, the password is Twitch. If you guys want to join up, the hashtag is on the top of your screen. All right, man. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So it has started, and already MGR is doing battle, guys. He's in a brand new clan. He used to be in mine, but he left. <laughs> so he's in a clan called Tension right now. Check that out. So MGR throwing that goblin barrel across the map right now. Starting early. He's not going to wait at all to take the offense on. But that goblin barrel gets stopped by the skeletons. And now we see something very interesting, guys. A golem being played early on in the match. You rarely see a golem being pulled out that early on. But it did get pulled right now. The minions get zapped. They don't go down. And that golem's in a heap of trouble. But the baby dragon is right there, guys. Ready to meet up not only the minions, but the skeleton army itself. And a log for good measure. The golem breaks up into golemites. A log in, in oh my god, retaliation log from MGR. And it uh, looks like those golemites are going to go down really quickly. So, he did get some tower damage. Brought him down to 1950, which is actually pretty good for an early push. But that goblin barrel is coming in right now. Trying to even the score. And it does get the job done. Guys, check out the goblin barrel. Plus the bowler doing a little bit of damage before everything goes down. So, he's down to 1341. Lightning strike. Man, back and forth battles right now, guys. Already early on, both players doing offense. They're not holding back at all. They continue to try to push against each other, but right now they have to sit back and build Elixir, and he mirrors his Furnace card. So this is going to be interesting right now, guys. He's going to be mirroring his Furnace card. That's going to be a lot of Fire Spirit for... um for that golem we do see that elixir pump though guys and that's gonna help the golem a lot especially if we get into two times elixir that's about to happen in 30 seconds but the rocket is not good news for that elixir pump that is something that he did not want to see we're gonna call him gown mgr versus gown because his first name looks like anus <laughs> so i don't want to be calling him anus we're gonna call him gown guys all right he drops his other golem down right now he's down to 614 hit points Thanks to those fire spirits and that furnace card. Not a good deal right now, guys, at all. What is going to happen right now? He's trying the baby dragon once again, and he tried to anticipate the skeleton army, which is why he dropped his log down. But unfortunately for him, the skeleton army was not used. So now that baby dragon's all by itself, and it is going to go ahead and score some tower damage. Check that out, guys. Bowler's defenseless. He's mirroring goblin barrels this time. He figured he had the left tower all the way down with that last goblin barrel. He does have a bowler coming in, though. 
So he figured he would throw his other goblin barrel toward the right tower to start gaining a yeet on that right tower. That was actually pretty smart because that bowler just brought the left tower down and now he is uh, in trouble. Zapping those minions right there, making sure they don't get too much tower damage on his right side. And now once again, the golem's trying to push through, but it's got a lot of defense on it. The golem's about to break up into golemites, and it does. So right now, it looks like MGR has plenty of elixir to play with. And he does a good job once again defending his tower and throwing another rocket across the map. No idea why he didn't focus that rocket in between the king tower and the archer tower, but he mirrors the rocket. This is not good, guys. And a goblin barrel is going to bring the tower down. And that's going to be it right there, man. Wow, MGR just dominating that battle. He did lose his left tower, but his right tower remained untouched. Two crown victory for MGR. Congratulations to MGR. That was actually very, very clever when he mirrored his rockets and threw that goblin barrel. That was good strategy. And check this out, guys. So many people doing battle right now. If you want to get in on the action, the password to this tournament is Twitch, all lowercase letters. Once again, MGR. Wow, MGR versus J this time. So what's going to happen right now? Look at that Valkyrie. She's not going to get there in time. She actually did take out two of those, uh, two of those goblins. So congratulations to the Valkyrie for defending that tower. But the goblins did their damage. They did about 500 hit points. So that's pretty bad right there. Hog Rider on the right side. Deployed by Jay. Gets met up by a Skeleton Army. Skeleton Army gets zapped. Hog Rider will now do some tower damage. Scoring three shots before it goes down. And we got some elite barbarians on the right side as well. But he does have to worry about these minions coming in. And the princess is going to do some damage control. Unfortunately though, not enough damage control. Both players almost tied up. But MGR did lose his right tower. So 744 hit points are left. And that bowler is going to town on that left tower. I do predict it will go down. 27 hit points left. One more rock is going to bring it down. The princess stays alive. She was just too weak to bring that bowler down. So now both players tied up. Both players losing one tower. And a goblin barrel gets thrown across the map. And those goblins are going to do a little bit of damage. But this time the king tower is going to help out the archer tower. The king tower intervenes. Valkyrie versus Bowler. Valkyrie. Oh my god guys. The hog rider is coming in right now. And that princess continues to do some damage. Unfortunately though I think that was a bad hog rider deploy right there. I don't think he should have dropped this hog rider. The bowler and the furnace stopped it dead in its tracks. That bowler is still alive with zero hit points right now. And now we see the furnace is mirrored guys. And I do not see any projectiles from Jay. I don't see any fireballs or any rockets or anything like that. So both of those furnaces are totally safe right now. And one of those furnaces is pumping out fire spirits toward the right side. And that's going to cause some offense and damage to that right tower. The other furnace is pumping them out to the left side. Bringing down those skeletons and everything like that. Man, good strategy by MGR right there. Slowly gaining the lead with those little fire spirits. Slowly, guys. Two times Elixir is kicking in now, though. And that's a big problem for both players because both players get buffed. And we don't know which one gets the advantage. Two times Elixir. Nice Elite Barbarians right there stopping both Goblin Barrels. But the damage has been done. 534 hit points remain. The lead now belongs to MGR who's laughing his ass off. And rightfully so, guys. And look at that Lumberjack. Oh my god. The Lumberjack goes down. And the Hog Rider is in that rage. The Hog Rider started to do some tower damage. The Bowler quickly brings it down, though. And he still has the lead. MGR is still in the lead right now. Comfortably with less than 30 seconds on the clock. What's going to happen? Oh my god. There goes the right tower. Goblin Barrel Rocket bringing the right tower down. That was so freaking insane, guys. That Hog Rider is not going to make it. He mirrors and he misses the Hog Rider. He's going to go ahead and say, oops. He tried to protect this tower right there, but I don't think he has anything to worry about. That was a good log as well that brought down the princess. So everything's pretty much uh, in MGR's corner. He's going to win this with a two-crown victory once again. The winner is MGR throwing his final goblin barrel toward the king tower and laughing again. Wow, MGR just winning right now, guys. Back-to-back -back wins for MGR. He's actually on top right now. He's in first place. Commission second place. We got 37 players now, guys. Three, 13 spots remain. What's up, Mr. Holly Socks? We just got started, dude. 13 spots remain right now. Commission's going to battle. Who's he going to battle, guys? Oh, MGR. So we got the first place player versus the second place player. That means if Kamish wins this battle, he might take first place. So a lot is riding on, uh, a lot's on the line right now for Kamish, guys. A lot is on the line. He wants to win this, but a lot is on the line for MGR as well, because if he loses, he drops down in the brackets, and he doesn't want to do that right now. Nice fireball, by the way, guys. That fireball did some good defense, but the damage was done. 14-12 left on the right tower. Good log as well. That's going to tie the game. He just got back from facing a hacker on Team Fortress 2. What was he using? An aimbot? Usually people who play first-person shooters and hack use aimbots. Anyway, 
Here we go, guys. MGR can versus Kamish. MGR sitting in first place of this tournament. Kamish sitting in second place. Tension is MGR's new clan, and Grand Theft is Kamish's clan. So let's see what happens right now. That's actually a nice counter to the bowler. The Inferno Tower is going to bring that bowler down unless we get that rocket. Yep, aimbot. I knew it. And we did get that rocket, but check that out. He has a backup plan, guys. He pulls some minions out from underneath his sleeve, and those minions do get the job done. They bring the bowler down. He also manages to get some tower damage. Thanks to that miner. The miner does its tanking, and the tower almost goes all the way down. MGR showing some frustration right there. Red Team refused to kick him because he was, oh, he was carrying them. Yeah, that makes sense, dude. I kind of hate aimbots. Aimbots are the worst hack ever. You can't hide from them. No matter what happens, as soon as you pop your head out, pow! You did. Headshot. Guaranteed headshot all the time, by the way. All right, so MGR versus Kamish. Now MGR bringing the right tower down. It's going to turn into a left lane battle, guys. Left lane battle right now between MGR Cannon and Kamish. I don't know what's going to happen right now. This battle is going back and forth. Two times Elixir kicks in in five seconds, though. And uh, MGR is going to start burying rockets and throwing goblin barrels. And I'm kind of curious to see how uh, Kamish is going to defend himself from this right now. Right now, the lead is well, well in MGR's corner, guys. He barely took some tower damage right there. 2450 on his left tower. Goblin barrel coming in. Met up by a skeleton army, good counter, gets no damage done at all. That bowler though, getting ready to take down that skeleton army, Kamish holding on to his elixir. Using his counter right there guys, he uses the infernal tower and a fireball to bring down the minions. Beautifully done by the way, that was beautifully done, but he was trying to save his fireball to get some tower damage and bring those furnaces down. I know he was, and he mirrors the fireball right there, so that was actually not a good strategy. I think he's about to lose his left tower right now guys, mirrored goblin barrels coming in. That skeleton army actually got the job done, so he might not. Back and forth they go. By the way, did you get paladins? No, I did not get paladins, dude. Uh, my PC is not going to run paladins. I don't think it will. Uh, paladins is pretty much a clone of Overwatch, and I do have Overwatch on my PS4, though. But yeah, I did take a look at paladins. It's pretty much an Overwatch clone. Sudden death, guys. We're in overtime. 180 seconds left. Nice fireball to save his tower right there, and he's slowly chipping away at MGR's left tower. So what's going to happen, guys? That goblin barrel is going to get its damage. That's what's going to happen. But another goblin barrel being flung, and MGR is in trouble. MGR loses. Oh, my God. Kamish just stealing it, and I think he's also going to get the first place spot. Two crown victory for MGR. Is he going to get the first place spot? This time, MGR giving him a good game and not laughing his ass off. You guys notice he laughed his ass off in the first two battles, but this time he's like, good game, bro. <laughs> All right, so Kamish is in first place right now. Um, let's go ahead and check out Jay. No, we already saw Jay. There's another Jay right here. Let's check out Bruno in second place. So let's see what Bruno has to bring to the table. He's going up against Jay Maul. This is a different Jay, guys. The other one is just Jay. This is Jay Maul. Let's see what happens with Jay Maul. He's already lost his right tower, so he's already in trouble right now. And it looks like Bruno is in trouble with losing his right tower, though. We're seeing a mortar deck, guys. Is that mortar going to lock on? Let's see if it locks onto the tower. Nope, it's going to lock onto the bowler, and it's not getting any tower damage at all. The password is Twitch, dude. Yin Hao, the password is Twitch. All lowercase letters, my friend. The password is Twitch. But Paladins focus more on MOBA. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did read about Paladins, by the way. I did. But I did also notice it's a big Overwatch clone, but it's a free game, so that's kind of cool. And it's actually coming to PS4 as well. Paladins is coming to PS4, so I will get my hands on it, especially since it's free. Unless they decide to sell it on the PS4, I might still buy it anyway. I don't know. I hardly play Overwatch, dude. I gotta play it some more because I like that game. All right. So here we go. And look at that miner right there, guys. That miner sneaking across the map and getting that tower damage. It looks like J Maul is desperate to bring that right tower down. And he is getting the job done, but he was met up by an Executioner. The Executioner brought his offense down, and now that Bowler is going to do battle with the Executioner, and I think the Executioner is going to beat the Bowler. Oh, but another Bowler gets deployed right there, guys. And Bruno also has a Bowler of his own, so we got Bowlers all over the place right now. Look at that Tornado spell pulling. Oh, it does save the tower. I was going to say that tower is going to go down anyway, but unfortunately for that miner, it got pulled and destroyed by the Musketeer. So, a Zap spell, not Musketeer, Executioner, a Zap spell does bring the right tower down. And now it's going to be left lane battles, guys. Left lane battles starting right now. What's going to happen? Um, I think we're going to see a three crown. That's what I think is going to happen, guys. Look at that rage spell and raging the giant and those two ball and the ball and the execution. Everything's in rage right now. And that king tower's in trouble. So is J Maul. And we did get the three crown, guys. Incredible. Lucky you. If you get paladins on PS4 for free. That's cool. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I will be lucky. We'll see what happens. I know it's coming to PS4. I did read that it was going to be free. So we'll see what happens, man. So that's Bruno in second place. He did a good job. Oh, actually, he was in trouble. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Gummy is next. Let's go and check out Gummy. Cummy. That's his name, actually. I thought it was Gummy, but it's Cummy. <laughs> that's a funny name. It's almost inappropriate to say that name. Yachan, <laughs> Yachan, uh, Ichlan. We're just going to call him Grand Theft. His clan name, Grand Theft, has lost his left tower. But he is focusing really, really well on taking Cummy's uh, left tower down. And I don't know if I can say that name with a straight face. I'm trying, but it's hard, guys. All right, so Cummy got 166 hit points left on his left tower. And now he's focusing his offense on the right tower. He does have a Musketeer ready for that Witch. And the Musketeer will bring the Witch down, take the Skeletons down with it. So the left tower does not go down. I think he's going to have to throw some arrows at it. He goes with Goblin Barrel, and that might be a good choice as well. Goblins get bowled over. Not a good thing right there at all. And check that out, guys. Cleverly using that uh, that cannon to pull the Elite Barbarians. So once again, we got a Musketeer back there. The Musketeer will bring the tower down. But the right tower goes down immediately. So once again, Grand Theft is in trouble. He's lost two towers. And if that Hog Rider doesn't get the job done, then he's going to pretty much lose the battle. The Hog Rider is under a rage spell right now. The minions get brought down, and that Hog Rider is not going to get the job done. It did do a lot of tower damage, unfortunately, it just didn't get it done. Goblin Bell, one final chance to get it done with a Miner, and it doesn't happen. He runs out of time. So, unfortunately, at least he battled to the end, but unfortunately, he does lose the battle. Kami is the winner of this battle with a two-crown victory for Kami. Ugh, that's such a hard name to say without smiling. Kamish is still on top. Bruno's now in second place. MGR dropped all the way down from first to fourth. So he is having a little bit of problems now, guys. We did see him lose one battle, but now he's in fourth place. 37 players. The hashtag is on the top of your screen right there. If you guys want to join up, the password is Twitch. All lowercase. We've got 13 spots remaining. 45 minutes left in the tournament. Let's go ahead and check this dude out right now. Deer Leader? It is. So it's going to be Deer Leader versus Anton Puka. Anton Puk223. All right, we're going to call him Anton, guys. It's just a lot easier to say that versus Deer Leader right now. Both players are level 9s, respectively, and that left tower took a lot of damage from that Royal Giant. Wow. 238 hit points left on the left tower. He's giving them the well-played. Elite Barbarians are coming in right now. And what is he going to do to defend himself from the Elite Barbarians? Absolutely nothing, guys. Is he giving up? He drops an Elixir Pump on the right side. Very bad call right there. I don't know if he gave up and he just did that because he did give him the thumbs up. So he might have just given up already, guys. Look at that King Tower all the way down to 1468. And it looks like he quit the battle. That is not something you do in a tournament. But he did quit the battle, guys. He quit that battle. He did use a Zap Spell. So maybe he didn't give up because he used the Zap Spell to reset that Inferno Dragon. Going back to the YouTube days. Let's see. Lucky you. Oh, going back to the YouTube days. Flashback. Yeah, I remember the YouTube days. G Fuel. <laughs> All right, guys. So the Sparky gets brought down. Elite Barbarians are right there meeting it up. Royal Giant. Oh, and look at those Elite Barbarians getting eaten alive by that wizard. But they did do the damage they needed to do. And now the Royal Giant continuing the onslaught on that King Tower. The King Tower is not going to survive this time. It is not going to survive, guys. Another Elixir Pump was not a good choice. The Infernal Dragon locks onto it. Once again, the Zap Spell saving him from dying, guys. 355 hit points left. Fireball on the King Tower with a log combination and a zap brings it all the way down to nothing. So that's going to be a three crown win for Anton. Good job, man. He's from Elite Team DE. He did a good job right there. Request and go from Deer Leader. Got to bring your A game, my bro. Got to bring your A game. Bruno's still on top. Let's go ahead and check him out and see why he is so unbeatable. Going up against Aichilan. Achilan, man, that's such a hard name to say. But he's going up against some guys. Bruno is the first place player, and he's been in first place for a long time. I don't know if anybody could beat this guy. I've not seen this guy lose at all. But he is doing back-to-back -back battles. He wants to continue extending his lead in first place. So what's going to happen right now with these minion hog rider combination? Does he have a counter for that? Does he? He zaps it, and that's not going to bring the minions down. The arrows are coming in, but the tornado spell does a good job, guys. The tornado spell pulls the hog rider. Both towers doing damage, and a giant stands in front. The hog rider got no damage at all. That was a beautiful tornado being used right there. Now he's got to worry about this giant. Bruno bringing out the, the, the big artillery with the giant and the mega minion. Guys, what's going to happen? Where's the counter? Beat time. You got to do something right now, man. And now they're all under a rage, and I don't think that witch has the muscle to bring it down. The witch does not have the horsepower to bring down that giant. The tower melts just like that, guys. 
Bruno has a crown already, man. The right tower has gone down. The witch has plenty of health. So let's see if he can put something in front of that witch. Not good. The executioner is the last thing he wanted to see. It's damaging everything. Those elite barbarians got to bring it down real quick, and they do. The witch is still alive, but that tornado spell causing massive problems right there. Massive problems for Ichian, Ichilan. Man, I don't know how to say your name, my bro. I'm so sorry. Um, 2160 left on that right tower. And, and the left tower is also damaged. Ichan's left tower has 1664. Man, he's in trouble. There's a giant coming in, and he better stop that giant this time. I'm telling you guys, he does not want the same thing to happen to him twice. Hog Rider minion combination. Will he use the zap again? So he's got a bowler this time. He does not have a tornado. He did have the zap. Does he have the tornado? No, he doesn't. His tower is taking some serious damage now, guys. Will that tower go down? It survives by a hair. But that giant is on the left side and it's creeping in and we're about to see a rage. Are we going to see the rage? No rage. But the tornado spell does pull away some of those troops. Unfortunately, though, all the damage has been done, guys. Look at this. Look at that. 288 hit points are left. That is it right there, man. What about Team Fortress 2? You think your PC can run it? I don't know. I got to go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty old game, so I might be able to actually run it on my PC. 18 gigs is not a big file either. Um, alright guys, so both right towers are down now, but 49 hit points remain, I think we can call this one, 10 seconds left on the clock, that left tower is not going to go down, he's giving them the good game already, good sportsmanship right there, and look at that tornado, he's giving them the thanks, and the good game, so good sportsmanship all around by both players, I love to see that stuff, alright man, Bruno, good job, remaining in first place once again, can this guy be beaten? Can he be beaten? He's got 133 trophies right now, but Kumi is not far behind with 107. And our third place player, who we have not seen, Wildfire, has 92 trophies. Let's check him out. Climbing up, going up against Nutfee. We got a lot of Grand Theft people in here today, guys. Wow, look at all these Grand Theft people. Nutfee in trouble, though. Both towers are down. Both towers are down. We came in toward the end of this one, guys. But it looks like complete domination by Wildfire. Is that going to put him in second place? I don't know. We're about to see. Yep, it put him in second place with 116 trophies. So Bruno's got a lot of work for him, guys. We've got 12 spots. 40 minutes remain. 12 spots in the tournament. The password is Twitch. The hashtag is on the top of your screen right there. Commission has been dropped all the way down to fifth place. MGR still maintaining his hold on fourth place. So we're going to check him out right now. MGR trying to get back in the first place. He's laughing right now. So MGR likes to laugh when he's winning. He doesn't laugh when he's losing, but he likes to laugh when he's winning. I'm not good at the game anymore because I haven't played in months. Yeah, I know, I know. I know how that is, dude. Believe me. You got to check out Unreal Tournament 2004. People still play it. Check that out. Unreal Tournament 2004. And look at that Royal Giant. It's going to get eaten alive by those minions. The furnace distracting it. It will not get any tower damage. The wizard is about two seconds too late. The wizard still has some hit points right there. He's giving them the well played. Wizard will not do any damage either. If you get the game, I'll stop now because I'm annoying. You're not annoying, dude. You're all good, my bro. You're all good. Trust me. You're fine. All right. So those skeletons coming across the map right now with Goblin Barrel. Mirror Goblin Barrel. Are they going to get the damage? He did stop the first one, but the second one's going to do the damage. And a rocket is going to hit that. Oh, my God. A rocket bringing down that elixir pump and doing tower damage. Sparky on the right side by Deer Leader. He's trying to still break. And look at that. He puts a musketeer behind it. Musketeer behind the Sparky is actually really good. And a Royal Giant in the front. So what's going to happen right now? What's going to happen is that Sparky goes down and does not survive. So once again, the Goblin Barrel mirrored this time, guys. The arrows taking care of both Goblin Barrels. But here comes the rocket. We know it's coming, guys. The log is there. The rocket is coming. Here it comes. And that left tower is going to go down unless it gets saved by the bell. It doesn't. Final second, the rocket brings down the left tower too. Unfortunately... MGR wins this battle. Unfortunately for Deer Leader, MGR wins this battle. Two crown victory for MGR. That should put him in third place, I want to say. Nope. Wildfire got dropped down. Where the hell's MGR? He was in fourth place and he got dropped down too. Bruno maintaining the top spot right there. MGR is actually no. MGR is in second place. So slowly, little, little by little, he's trying to reclaim the top spot, guys. That's what he's trying to do. Um. Let's go ahead and check this dude out. We haven't seen him yet. Let's check him out, guys. Nutby versus Dark Knight. Dark Knight, man. What's going to happen with Dark Knight? I'm curious. He is the Batman. At least that's what it sounds like. All right. So Nutby versus Dark Knight right now. Um, Kind of too early to call this battle, but Dark Knight's already lost a lot of health on the right side. And left side's just gone already, guys. The left tower is done. The right tower has 826 hit points. 
Two times Elixir just kicked in, so let's see if we can make a comeback. Sometimes players do make comebacks. The Furnace is going to pose a big problem. That's what it is right there. The Royal Giant is causing him some problems, guys. He's using the Tombstone very well to counter that Royal Giant, but look at it still getting that tower damage, bringing it all the way down to 508 hit points, and he's running a Lava Hound deck. So, the Lava Hound deck uses, oh, a lot of Elixir, but, uh, damn, I, I feel so bad for him. It uses a lot of elixir, but on the plus side, the Lava Hound deck does get a little bit of a buff with two times elixir, as do all decks. But the Lava Hound deck just gets a little bit better with two times elixir. And there goes another Royal Giant, and we can probably kiss that right tower goodbye. I think that right tower is going down. The Zap spell turns him around, but just for a second, and once again, focus on the right tower, and the right tower does go down. And now it's two towers down. I don't think he'll be able to get a three crown. It's going to be a two crown win. Frustration right there by Dark Knight. Batman wasn't able to get the job done. The Joker wins today. The reason why I'm calling him the Joker is because he can't stop laughing. He loves using that smiley face laughing emote, and he did it today lots and lots of times. Two crown win for Nutfee. All right, man. MGR third place coming second place. Bruno still in first with 133. I don't know if he's coasting, guys. But I don't recommend you coast with 36 minutes on the clock. We do have 12 spots left in this tournament. Plenty of time to win, actually. 36 minutes is a lot of time, so if you guys want to get in on the action, the password is Twitch. The hashtag's on the top of your screen. All right. Um, who should we check out next? We saw Deer Leader. Let's check him out. We haven't seen him battle. All right. Wrongs. Wrong with two Zs, and uh, Wrongs is doing a pretty good job against that King Tower. He's got two bowlers on it right now, and that Wizard's in trouble. Because one of them bowlers said, screw you, dude. I'm bringing you down before you kill me. I will take you before you take me. The bowler gets to toss one more final rock at that King Tower, bringing it down to 1309. 1309, and I cannot pronounce this guy's name. It's written in a different language. His clan is also written in a different language. So unfortunately, we're going to call him No Name. And No Name is in trouble of getting three crowned right now. He does have a Hog Rider coming in right now. And the Witch Skeleton Army is a lethal combination right there, guys. Look at that. I think that King Tower is going to go down, guaranteed. King Tower's down. King Tower is down! Three crown right there for Rawls, man. There was no stopping that Witch Skeleton Army. Nothing was going to stop it. He should have used his Zap for those skeletons. I don't know why he didn't. Wait, actually, that wasn't a Zap, was it? It was an Electro Wizard. That's why he didn't. Can't deploy the Electro Wizard right there. All right. All right. MGR reclaiming first place. But can he stay there, guys? Bruno all the way down to third place because he, he finally decided to battle. Check that out. He took my advice and decided to battle. We're going to check out the top guy, MGR, climbing his way back up there. And he's going up against Deer Leader. Mirroring those goblin barrels right there, guys. A lot of people have been doing that. And the reason why people like to mirror goblin barrels now is because you cannot kill the goblins with a zap spell anymore. That's right. A while back, the zap was nerfed. Rest in peace to the zap spell. And you can no longer kill those goblins with a zap spell. So people like to mirror goblin barrels and bring towers down. And it works. MGR is having some success because he's sitting in first place. And he ain't up there for no reason, guys. Bringing down the elixir pump, refusing to allow Deer Leader to gain that elixir advantage. I'm sorry, Deer Leader. Rest in peace, elixir pump. MGR continuing his rampage, guys. Doing really well in this battle. He's got 1642 down. Oh, I'm sorry. Deer Leader has gone down to 1642 thanks to MGR. We see Sparky coming in right now, and he will zap those fire spirits before they get any damage. Bye bye, fire spirits. Next year, when I get a job, I think I'm going to drop $100 to Team Fortress 2 and CSGO. Try Unreal Tournament 2004. All right, try that game. Trust me, you'll love it. It's got vehicles, hovercrafts, all that good stuff. Man, it's got so many play modes, you won't know what to do. And it's got a translocator, my bro. It's an old school game. Unreal Tournament 2004 is an old school game that a lot of people still love to play because it's such a good first-person shooter. All right, so here we go. Deer Leader versus MGR. MGR doing a good job playing defense and offense. 1330 left on the right tower of Deer Leader, and finally, finally, Deer Leader gets a little bit of damage with that Musketeer, bringing it down in 1954. 1954 is not low enough, though. Elixir Pump, once again, it's going to get rocketed. We knew that was going to happen at, at one point. At one point, you have to decide to stop using your Elixir Pump. When the other player has a rocket and a mirror, so that means if you do, if you go ahead and put another elixir pump, he's just going to mirror his rocket. You have to decide it's not a good idea to use your elixir pump and just stop using it because it's a waste of elixir. But he continues to use it. Both players pretty much trading six elixir because the elixir pump costs six elixir and the rocket costs six elixir. So they're kind of just, you know, sacrificing elixir. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, here we go right now, guys. It looks like that Royal Giant is in trouble, but not for long. Not for long, man. Look at that Sparky going down thanks to that rocket. And the Minions bringing down the Royal Giant. Once again, MGR playing excellent defense. Um, but he wasn't able to mount some offense right there. What's up, Floating Leg 2? Welcome to the live stream, dude. Look at that Goblin Barrel log combination. Will the tower go down? Another Elixir Pump. He just doesn't want to learn his lesson, guys. I know there's a rocket coming for that Elixir Pump. I just know it. There it is right there. The rocket coming for the Elixir Pump. And I'm actually surprised that this time he didn't decide to hit the King Tower as well. It doesn't even matter if you activate the King Tower because you're going to bring it down with a log. He brings the tower down with the log. Three seconds left on the clock, though. He's got nothing to worry about. He's going to get a one crown victory anyway. I would have just hit the King Tower for the sake of hitting the King Tower. <laughs> um, wake that lazy ass king up. Bring him into the battle. So MGR now with a good lead, guys. He's got 165 trophies. Kamish 137. So a 28 trophy lead right there. 28 trophy lead. The log is boss. I use the log as well. I like the log myself, guys. I do like the log. Let's kind of keep our eyes on MGR. Let's see what he's doing, guys. Because um, he was in first place, but he's not completely unbeatable. He's going up against Deer Leader again. What is going on with this game? Matching the same players up all the time. So we're getting a rematch right now. Deer Leader versus MGR, guys. Once again, what's going to happen this time? Maybe Deer Leader is going to change his strategy. There's a the Royal Giant once again. Crybaby faced by MGR. He beat him once, and he did a really, really good job beating him. He's probably going to beat him again, but who knows, guys? I've seen some rematches that Seesaw battles go back and forth sometimes. So maybe this time Deer Leader is going to have a different strategy. I'm pretty sure he wasn't happy to see MGR as his opponent once again. Look at that wizard right there doing damage control and a good job. It does a very, very good job. But the tower did take damage, though. 1872 left on that right tower. MGR almost virtually untouched. 2199 on his right tower. He's got to worry about that wizard. And the bowler will make good work of that wizard. I'm farming on GT right now. Thanks for making farming a little butter. You're welcome, Mr. Holy Socks. What are you farming, dude? That's what I want to know. What are you farming? I'm farming chandeliers. And it takes a long time. I got... About 4,500 plus seeds. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head right now, but it's more than 4,500 seeds. Chandeliers growing right now, dude. And yeah, when you break all those down and you have to break all those blocks, oh my freaking God, it takes forever. But on the plus side, I was able to buy those nifty new golden razor wings. That's right, I got the golden razor wings. They're pretty cool. 100k gems in the shop. They won't be there for long, man. Make sure you get your pair because it won't be there for long. Uh, finishing your pinballs. Don't farm pinballs, dude. Do not farm pinballs unless you're going to use them to build a parkour or something like that. I personally suggest fish tanks. They're a lot easier to break. They break almost as fast as windows do. Every now and then they do drop a red gem. I know pinballs drop more. But pinballs are so annoying to break, especially when you accidentally walk into them. That's one thing I hate about pinballs is accidentally walking into them. All right, guys. So the bowler trying to stop that royal giant, but the royal giant no longer getting pushed back by the bowler because the bowler is also nerfed. We do got to worry about Sparky, though. Sparky's going to bring that bowler down. I don't know if it's going to be able to blast it one more time because not. The zap spell takes care of the bowler and the minion takes some damage as well. MGR with a little bit of frustration, but not that much. And it looks like Deer Leader is doing a pretty good job this time. Let's see, you're farming 1,600 pinball seeds. And 2,000 fish tank seeds. Don't farm Venuses. Venuses. They're so bad. Sell them all. Get rid of them. Venuses are the worst thing to farm. At least in my opinion, dude. I used to constantly kill myself. All the time. Accidentally walking into Venuses. I hate Venuses. Plus, if you put them in a health break, people will troll you every single time, dude. You put your Venuses in a health break. If you don't have that punch jammer, people are going to punch you right into it. All right, so Deer Leader, once again, losing and very, very frustrated. I don't blame him. This is the second time he got matched up with MGR. MGR with another one crown victory. He did a little bit better this time, though. I got to give it to him. He tried harder, and he did better. MGR, 183 trophies. Kamish, where the hell did Bruno go? Bruno went all the way. Okay, so Bruno lost the battle because he had 133. And he went all the way down to 119. 119, so we're kind of only watching the top players right now. And now we got 39 out of 50 players, guys. 28 minutes left on the clock. Still a good amount of time. If you guys want to join, the password is Twitch. All lowercase letters. Let's check out Anthony. Password is Twitch. All lowercase letters. MGO will not stay out of my stream today, will he? <laughs> Venus is for backup, but now I don't need them. I'm going to sell. Yes, please. Sell all your Venuses. Get rid of all of them. Trust me on this one, dude. Um, if you want to actually do, if you want to farm every single day, I would suggest you keep some fish tanks on you. 
That way when your chandeliers are growing, because you know chandeliers take over seven days to grow, right? So when your chandeliers are growing, you can farm those fish tanks in between. And then go back to your chandeliers when they're fully grown and repeat that process over and over until you die. Because you're going to die from boredom. Alright. <laughs> um, MGR, once again, doing a really good job. That skeleton army is going to take care of those mirror goblin barrels and those fire spirits don't get... Well, they did get some tower damage. That's unfortunate for Anthony. Down to uh, 960 hit points. Man, 960 hit points. So MGR has about a 92 hit point lead, uh, 902 hit point lead, I'm sorry guys, 902 hit point lead, man, I'm trying to do math on the fly for you guys right now. And that giant is only level 6, it's not going to survive those minions, guys, those minions bringing the giant all the way down, no push for Anthony this time, and can he stop him, he does with the fireball, I think he should have used his fireball when they were killing the giant. That's what I think should happen, but I don't think he had the elixir. I wasn't watching his bar, so I'm not 100% sure. Once again, using that skeleton army to counter the goblin barrel. And this time, the skeleton army is able to protect the tower from those fire spirits. So the tower remains at 754 hit points. MGR, though, continuing to frustrate him with those furnaces. Guys, those furnaces are so frustrating. So frustrating. And I might actually copy MGR's deck because it looks pretty good, guys. It looks pretty good. It works. It's getting the job done. Right now, MGR is doing a really good job. And I have not seen him be beaten in a while. He did lose a couple of battles earlier, but he has not been beaten in a while. Zap brings down that entire skeleton army, and I think he baited it out so he could use his minions. That's what I think he did, guys. This time he does use the fireball to save his giant, but unfortunately there's still a bowler there, guys. And look at that graveyard. The graveyard's going to try to do some damage. But there is a bowler right there ready to take the graveyard out, guys. And the bowler doing a pretty good job taking out all those skeletons right there. Look at that bowler saving the tower. And rest in peace, left tower. Anthony loses that left tower thanks to a rocket. Damn, man. And now is MGR going to go for a three crown or is he going to focus on the right tower? He's got 10 seconds to decide. I don't think he's going to bring anything down, guys. Nope. He puts a furnace across the river and I think that's just for fun. That's it, guys. Three seconds left in this battle. It's over. Another victory for MGR. That's going to keep him in first place for a while, man. Oh, my God. MGR just cannot be beaten once again. He lost like one or two battles and he climbed his way all the way back to the top and now he's got a 202 trophy. Uh, he's got 202 trophies. So his lead is five. What, what's his lead right now? 53 trophy lead. That's insane, guys. 53 trophy lead. This tournament's about to end in 25 minutes. We do have 11 spots remaining. The password is Twitch, guys. If you want to get in on the action, password is Twitch. Hashtags on the top of your screen. And we're going to check this guy out. First time. Bronze versus Nocton Bullis. That's a weird name, Nocton Bullis. I'm farming lots of fish tanks right now. I love farming them because they're easy to break. Yep, exactly. I built a 50 world lock farm with fish tanks. Nice job, dude. I need to reconsider my life choices. That is funny. All right, man. That was so funny. Okay. Nocton Bullis versus Rongs and right now uh, it looks like Rongs is winning the battle right now guys he's trying to bring that left tower down that left tower is down to 648 the right tower is also very very low 291 so uh, Rongs is pretty much going to win this battle unless Nocturne Bullets can do something very very quickly and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to guys but he is doing a good job defending himself baby dragon on the right side mini peck on the left side guys what's going to happen with that mini peck the mini peck can do some serious damage and now the baby dragon makes it across Getting that tower damage, Furnace, bringing down the Skeleton Army, what's up Clash, MGR, you're doing a good job MGR, congratulations man, sitting in first place right now, 53 trophy lead dude, you're doing a good job man, look at that guys, the Giant moving his way up though, the Giant's gonna get there, and oh my god, he's gonna steal the victory with that Giant, the Giant, bringing the tower all the way down to 157 hit points, Balloon coming in, and look at him pulling away, oh my god, Wow, he stopped, oh my god, Nocton Bullis just stole that one, guys. He used that tornado spell and the mini P.E.K.K.A combination to stop the rush from that Prince. And he stopped that Prince when the Prince was like an inch from hitting that tower. If the Prince had smacked that tower, that tower would have gone down. It would have gone down. Unbelievable defense right there, Nocton Bullis just pulling it out of his ass. Literally pulling it out of his ass, guys. He was about to lose that battle. And he just won it at the final minute. Perfect example of never give up. Seriously, guys. Never give up in this game because you never know when you can steal a victory like Nocton Bullis just did. Alright, let's check this dude out. I think his name is Colonel. I think he just spelled Colonel differently. And we got a mirrored bowler by Wrongs, guys, with an Electro Wizard right there. 
And this level 8 colonel has not deployed a single card. He finally deploys his minions on the left side. I don't know what the hell that strategy is all about. But he pretty much just gave away his right tower. He puts a witch directly in front of the bower and a goblin barrel too. What is he doing, guys? What is he doing? He's a level 8. He might be a little bit of a noob. I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell he's doing right now, guys. But I gotta tell you right now. Rongs is gonna win this battle. If Carl keeps playing like this, he's hopeless right now, guys. I'm sorry if he keeps playing like this. But they're both in the same clan, too. That's kind of weird. Are you guys noticing this? I mean, is he giving him the win or what? He might be giving him the win, guys. I'm 100% sure about that right now because nobody plays that bad. Who drops a goblin barrel directly in front of a bowler? I don't know who does that. But he did it right now, and that right tower is down to 286 hit points. That is it. Now he's doing a good job defending it. His left tower is down to 582 hit points. I don't know. They're both from the same clan. They're rigging it, guys. This battle is fake. <laughs> this battle is fake. I don't know, man. The balloon's coming across the map right now. And that left tower has taken some damage and a mirrored witch. That's the first time I ever see anybody mirror a witch. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not mirrored. That's cloned, by the way, guys. The, the witch was cloned right there. And uh, 483 hit points remain on the left tower of Rongs. But the Witch Skeleton Army combination brings down Colonel's right tower. And now he's got a Wizard right there trying to do some damage control, bringing down the Skeletons. And that Wizard's going to get eaten alive by that Prince. we got a Skeleton Army as well, though, guys. Check it out. Electro Wizard gets dropped in the middle of all of that. And the Electro Wizard goes down immediately. And now we got a Wizard with a Prince combination right now. Is that Prince going to bring the tower down? It does! Unbelievable! Colonel doing a good job now, guys. He turned this battle around just like that. He does have a lot to worry about, though, because there's 35 seconds left on the clock, and Colonel only has 800, or I'm sorry, 582 hit points left on his left tower. 1998 for wrongs right now. The Elite Barbarians get met up by some minions, but they do manage to bring that left tower down. 25 seconds on the clock, guys. What's going to happen? He cannot go for a three crown right now. He needs to focus all his efforts onto that right tower. The right tower's only got 1998. The King Tower has 3783. I wouldn't be going for the King Tower right now, but he is. I don't know why, but he's doing it, guys. The Mirrored Skeleton Army, the Witch is going to go ahead and bring down that Skeleton Army. And that's going to be it right there, guys. Wrongs is going to win this battle with a two-crown victory right there, man. It's over. Oh, my God. I actually think Colonel could have beaten him if he didn't have such a bad first start, man. His first start was the ugliest start I've seen in this entire tournament. If he had started out just a little bit better, he might have actually won. And we got MGR battling again. 20 minutes left in the tournament. 41 players now, which means 9 spots remain. If you guys want to join up and you think you can do some damage in 20 minutes, I challenge you to do so. The password is Twitch in all lowercase letters, guys. Twitch is the password. All right, man. Here we go. MGR loses the battle, guys. There it is right there. Wildfire bringing the top dog down with a two-crown victory. Now MGR sits in second place. Oh my god. He had a pretty good lead though, guys. So check that out. He's only losing by five trophies. But he is sitting in second place. And he's battling again. That is not a good place to be. It really, really sucks getting knocked out of first place. It's going to be MGR versus Wrongs right now. And we saw Wrongs doing battle earlier on, guys. So we're going to go ahead and check out MGR. We're going to see if he can reclaim his top spot. That is why we're spectating him again. We came in at the end of his last battle. I don't like to come in at the ass end of battles. I like to come in at the very beginning. So here we are at the beginning right now, guys. And those mirrored, he laughs at that. Those mirrored bowlers do go down. They didn't get the job done at all. Now he's got a bowler worry about himself. Bowler, minions, fire spirits, everything coming in with a goblin barrel. And, ooh, man. He's giving him the good luck. MGR is going to get a quick victory here, it looks like. I don't know. MGR hasn't taken any tower damage on the right side at all, guys. I don't know already. Actually, he hasn't taken any tower damage at all, and already he's brought down the right tower. So now he can focus all of his efforts on the left tower, and that's what he's going to do. You see he put his furnace on the left side now. Those fire spirits being pumped out toward the left lane. And now those fire spirits are going to do damage on the left side. It looks like Roms is regening his elixir. Team Fortress 2 Hacker also needs a hack to give him a higher chance of getting a critical shot. They do that, dude. That's one thing I hate about first-person players, which means you got to find a better server. You gotta find a better server, dude. One that does not allow hacks, one that has security patches and stuff like that. Alright, here we go, man. Wrongs versus MGR can. And uh, Wrongs in serious trouble right now, man. He's taking a lot of damage on that left side, and the right side's already completely down. He's got some minions coming towards King Tower. The Witch is gonna stop those minions, though. That was a good card to play. 
I think he should have put the witch toward the left side, done some damage control though. He did not do that. He put the witch all the way on the right side. So now the witch is all by herself on that right side. Easy counter for MGR, I'm sure. There's a prince right there, but MGR continues to focus his efforts on the left side. And what a rocket, guys. But look, one of those princes did get mirrored and did survive the rocket and did some tower damage, and the witch continued to do some damage. So, wow, I'm impressed right there. And the elite barbarians coming in as well. They get stopped by a skeleton army. Skeleton army being put on the left side by wrongs. The server was protected. Okay. Yep, they can get around it. I know they can. Yep, they can get around it. BAC didn't pick him up. That's because he has an updated hack. He has an updated aimbot, dude. That's what happens. And the BAC hasn't been updated for that aimbot, unfortunately, man. I know my stuff when it comes to first-person shooters on PC. Believe me, I've played them for years and years. All right, Roms got two towers down. Trying to bring that right tower down of MGR. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Even if he does, he's got 15 seconds left to work. He's in danger of getting three crowned, though, guys. And that's what happens. He gets three crowned, gives him the thumbs up. MGR receives a thumbs up and a good game by Roms. He's going to go back to first place, I think. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Well, it's going to happen. MGR back in first place with a, uh, wow, 31 trophy lead right there, guys. 31 trophy lead. Eight spots remain. 17 minutes on the clock. If you guys think you can do some damage, you guys want to get in here and try to climb your way to the top in 17 minutes, the password is Twitch in all lowercase letters. Man, back and forth battles right now. MGR with a pretty big lead. 31 it's not even 31 now. Wow, it's 30, 34 trophy lead now. He's got a 34 trophy lead over Wildfire, and I'm actually waiting to see Wildfire and MGR go head to head. Because if Wildfire and MGR go head to head, it's going to be an interesting battle to see. Wildfire is not going to go head to head with MGR. He's going to go head to head with Anton. That's what's going to happen right now. So let's go ahead and spectate these two guys. If Wildfire wins this battle, it might not put him in first place. It'll keep him in second place, but it will shorten the lead for MGR. Lamiorian. Did I say her name right, dude? Let me try that again. Lamiorian. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. I hope I said your name right. I'm kind of new to PC first person shooters. Not that new. Before I got this PC, I, okay, you played Call of Duty and Halo. Shoot yourself, dude. If you played Halo and didn't play on real tournament, man, you should be hanging yourself. Hang yourself, I'm joking. But yeah, go try on Real Tournament 2004. Please try that game, dude. There's a demo for it. I don't know if the demo might still be running. But try it out, man. Welcome to the stream, Nutby, man. How do you feel about this tournament, dude? How do you feel about the tournament, man? I've seen you have some good luck and some bad luck. What's going on with you today, dude? Alright, so we got Wildfire versus Anton right now, guys. And Wildfire wants to win this battle because Wildfire wants to claim that top spot. Winning this battle won't get him first place. I don't think he's going to win 34 trophies out of one battle. But winning this battle will kind of close the gap on MGR just a little bit. So let's see what's going to happen. I don't know if MGR is going to coast. I don't know if he's battling right now. If MGR battles right now and loses and Wildfire battles right now and wins, then Wildfire will be in first place. So we don't know what the brackets are going to look like until this battle is over, guys. We just don't know. Anton Pook. Defending himself right now with that log, but not for long guys those elite barbarians The elite barbarians get frozen in time thanks to that little fire spirit and the skeleton army meets them up And that skeleton army is gonna gobble them up guys the elite barbarians go down the archers and the tower will take care of that skeleton army though So skeleton army goes down and this is back and forth. We're about to see two times elixir in 10 seconds 10 seconds until two times elixir guys and time losing the battle slowly, but surely losing it though the infernal tower causing some problems for his royal giant and those archers trying to save the royal giant by bringing down the knight. But the knight stays alive long enough to bring down the royal giant. And now we got a, a spear goblin. Wow. Or no, no. A dark goblin. That's the first time we see the dark goblin. Let's see. I think it's either going to be me and MGR or Kamish. Well, MGR is sitting in first place right now, dude. But Wildfire's in second place. So don't count Wildfire out just yet, man. Wildfire looks like he's getting close to winning this battle. And he goes ahead and rockets those elite barbarians. Fireball comes across the map, though, and does do some tower damage as well. So right now this battle's kind of back and forth with Wildfire having a slight lead on that left tower, guys. The Goblin Barrel comes in the back, avoiding the log, and now will get the tower damage that it needs to get. It gets zapped, though, but it does bring the tower down to 589. So Wildfire increasing the lead, guys. Almost a lead, about about 1,000 hit points, I want to say. Close to 1,000 hit points, right under there. And that Royal Giant gets put in the back, and the reason for that is he saw the Infernal Tower, and the Infernal Tower is going to eat that Royal Giant up, guys. Look at this! A rocket coming across the map right now by Wildfire brings the left tower down, and that's going to be game over. One crown victory for Wildfire. So, MGR, if you're not battling, you better start right now, dude, because Wildfire is on your ass. He is on your ass. 
And it looks like Wildfire is in first place. Like I told you guys, we don't know what the brackets are going to look like till we come back. MGR must have lost the battle, though. MGR must have lost the battle. He's sitting down there with uh, 190 trophies now, and Wildfire is in first place. So we're going to go ahead and stay on top and check these guys out. Let's go ahead and check out Wildfire. We got 43 players right now, guys. 43 players. The password is Twitch. And it looks like it's going to be another victory for MGR right there. Two crown victory for MGR. So he's going to reclaim his top spot. He is reclaiming his top spot right now, guys. I want to see Wildfire versus MGR. I know you guys want to see because I want to see it. I want to see Wildfire versus MGR. So now it's 212 trophies for MGR. Wildfire doing battle once again. Both players trading the top spot, guys. That's what they're doing right now. They're trading the top spot. And I actually want to see them get matched up. We got Kami versus Wildfire. Kami was getting... Oh, look at that Inferno Tower going down via Fireball and doing some tower damage as well. Good job, Kami. But Kami was doing a pretty good job in this tournament earlier. So let's see what happens. He might actually be able to beat Wildfire. Who knows, guys? And look at the Dark Goblin locked onto the tower. That is not good for Kami at all. That Dark Goblin is doing some massive damage right there to that... Wow. Wow. Thanks to that... <laughs> That was unbelievable luck right there for Wildfire. Thanks to that knight doing all the tanking, that Dark Goblin got a massive amount of damage on that right tower. Nice, uh, nice right there. Nice log by Kami. Stopping that Goblin Barrel from doing further damage. That, that tower is down to 944, 994 hit points. That is a lot of damage. I've never seen that much damage get done by a freaking Dark Goblin, man. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, did you hear Just Nothing got demoted and Purple Band? I did. Oh, I heard all of that, yeah. But I don't know why Jar Rocket got demoted. I don't know why. I knew about Just Nothing, but I don't know about Jar Jar Rocket. I knew he got demoted, I just don't know why. 401 hit points on the right side of Kami's Tower, guys. Slowly but surely this time, the Goblins do avoid damage, but they get taken out by the Musketeer. So the Log didn't do it, it was the Musketeer. Damn! 401 hit points. We're about to go into two times elixir. Musketeer, Hog Rider, Skeleton Combination. What's going to happen right now, guys? The Hog Rider will make it across but get frozen by the Ice Spirit. Here comes another Dark Goblin. And he puts the Knight in front of the Dark Goblin. Can he capture Lightning in a bottle twice? Oh my god, the Dark Goblin brings the tower down, guys! He got the motor because he wasn't active enough. Okay. So there goes the right tower now coming in a lot of trouble. Two times elixir, though, guys. This could help Kami a lot, but this is also going to help Wildfire. Hamumu said it himself. Okay, cool. Cool. Thank you for informing me. Yeah, that Dark Goblin was OP, right? I was laughing about it. I'm like, I'm in disbelief. I could not believe that Dark Goblin got as much damage as it did. To top it off, that Dark Goblin actually brought the tower down. That's what's crazy, guys. A tower gone down by a Dark Goblin. He soloed that tower. Literally soloed it. 12-14 left on the right side of Wildfire. And a rocket being used as defense. And I'm pretty sure he's really, really, really happy about that Wildfire doing a good job because that Hog Rider was plopped at the very end and the Hog Rider took a lot of damage from the rocket. Cry Baby Face is being spammed by Wildfire, which means Wildfire knows he's got the victory. Victory's done. That's it. One crown for Wildfire, and that's going to put Wildfire in first place now, guys. So MGR and Wildfire are trading top spots. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. They're avoiding each other like the plague. Check that out. 217 for Wildfire. Now MGR doing battle. So let's go back to MGR and check him out. He's got 212. He's losing by 5. If he loses this battle, which it doesn't look like it's going to happen via Rocket. 283 on the right tower of Kamish. But Kamish doing some good damage on that right tower as well, guys. Using the... So the Miner gets eaten up by those Goblins. And the Minions are going to eat up the Goblins. And the Furnace eats up the Minions. And there's a Roller there stopping everything. And two Logs being thrown back and forth. And another Goblin Barrel being thrown by Kamish. And the log once again being mirrored. The fireball, and that's 57 hit points. And a fireball again. Oh, MGR! That's not good, dude. Kamish gets the one crown victory, and now it looks like Wildfire is going to stay in first place. So, Kamish, you really did a number on MGR right there, man. Kamish did a number on him because MGR went down to 180 trophies, and that gives. Uh, Kamish to first place spot, but he's only in first place by one trophy, guys. He's in first place by one trophy. So let's go ahead and check out Wildfire, because he's doing battle right now. And now we get the battle we wanted to see earlier, guys. Wow, MGR versus Wildfire. So uh, MGR doesn't want to lose this. I'm telling you guys right now, he does not want to lose this battle. Because if he loses this battle, his hopes and dreams for being in first place... They're gone. They go down with this battle, guys. They burn like ashes. 
Seriously, he does not want to lose this battle. He was just in first place. He lost the battle already. And if he loses this one, he's going down, down, down. He will not see first place for the rest of this tournament. I guarantee it. So he's got a little bit of frustration going on right now because his left tower is taking damage. He's down to 1692. Wildfire doing a pretty good job defending himself with 2064 hit points. Both right towers are untouched. A little bit under two minutes left on the clock. Both players kind of taking it easy right now. MGR does not want to lose, guys. That knight is going to go ahead and dismantle that bowler. Check out that knight taking out the bowler. Goblin Barrel being flung across the map. And the log misses! MGR making mistakes he can't afford to make right now, guys. If he loses this battle, he will not see first place. That log is going to bring down the skeleton army and do some tower damage. And the Dark Goblin combined with a freaking Ice Spirit. Bringing down the minions. More frustration from MGR is starting to build up right there, guys. And the Dark Goblin is locked onto the tower. Oh, that left tower is so done. That left tower just goes down. MGR is frustrated. Guys, MGR is in trouble right now. Wow, the Dark Goblin bringing down the King Tower all by itself. Look at that Dark Goblin go. Not only did it bring down that left tower, thanks to a Goblin Barrel and everything else, but it helped bring down that left tower. But it did a lot of King Tower damage as well. Wildfire giving him the Crybaby Face. We've seen MGR use that Crybaby Face, and now he's on the receiving end of it. Now that was a good uh, log right there. It did bring down the Dark Goblin. Here comes the Goblin Barrel on the right side, guys. And oh my god, he uses a rocket. Why is he not using his furnace? That's what I want to know, guys. He is not using his furnace. He's extremely frustrated, and it's kind of shaking him up a little bit. He's not playing good. I think he's kind of uh, losing focus and not playing his A game, guys. No, no, MGR is not playing his A game, but he is slowly chipping away at that left tower. That left tower is down to 1732. He's got to defend his right tower while doing damage to the left tower, and that is extremely hard to do. Look at those skeletons surrounding the tower, and all those skeletons doing tower damage right there, guys. Oh, my God. Finally, we do see a furnace card, but with 10 seconds left on the clock, it's going to be rest in peace for MGR. His right tower is getting dismantled. Oh, the Dark Goblin rocket combination. Bye-bye. And the crybaby face followed by a laugh on MGR. MGR is super frustrated now. So if we had seen Wildfire versus MGR earlier on, we would have known who won that battle because we just found out right now. Two crown victory for Wildfire, man. Unbelievable. I feel so bad for MGR now. He worked his way up. He was in first place. He went down. He tried to work his way back up to first place. He made it back up and stood there for a while. And now Wildfire has reclaimed the first place spot. It looks like he's going to stay there, guys. Uh, Kamish can actually still do some damage. Kamish can work his way into first place, but he has to battle Wildfire to get the job done. So let's see if Wildfire and Kamish get matched up. As of right now, MGR is not going to see first place, but he can get himself into third place. That is one thing he can do. If Anton loses this battle, MGR will automatically be pushed into third place unless his opponent, and I'm talking about Anton's opponent, gets into third place. If MGR battles and wins, he can get in third place, though. So, I suggest he does. He doesn't want to sit up for four cards when he can get ten. What I'm hoping for right now is a matchup between Wildfire and Kamish. I hope both players aren't coasting. I want to see these guys battle it out. Not focusing while playing. CR. <laughs> G Fuel. <laughs> All right, so we're not seeing. There's MGR right there. Like I told you guys, he automatically got awarded third place. So he's in third place. Bruno's in fourth. Come on, guys. Somebody get matched. I'm looking at the top three. I want to see Wildfire go up against Kamish. That's what I want to see, but I don't think these guys are going to battle anymore. I think they're both going to coast. I think Kamish is pretty much happy with second place. I hope not. And obviously, Wildfire is definitely happy with first. Nope, Kamish is going to battle, guys. So let's go ahead and spectate him. It's good to see him battle. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to be Kamish versus Wildfire. That's what I really wanted to see. It's going to be Nightmare versus Kamish. So let's see what Nightmare has to bring to the table. His clan name is India. Kamish from Grand Theft. And already trying to do some damage with those minions. And the damage is done, guys. Wow, look at those minions just bringing that tower down to 1274. We do have a giant princess combination to worry about on the right side, though. But look at that Inferno Tower. That Inferno Tower is going to melt that giant. And, um... The Elite Barbarians, I don't think they're going to get the job done either. Nope, the Elite Barbarians are getting cannibalized right now. Okay, I take that back. The Zap Spell does make the save, but a Mirrored Skeleton Army keeps that tower in the game, guys. A Mirrored Skeleton Army. However, the lead does belong to Nightmare now. Commission Trouble right there. Commission going all the way down to 1020. So that's Trouble right there for Commission. Nightmare with 1274 on the left side. 1020 on uh, Commission's right side. And here comes the Goblin Barrel, guys. The Goblin Barrel doing some more damage. 
now giving commission to lead. So these guys are playing, uh, they're playing tug of war. They're going back and forth. Seesaw matchup right now. Too early to call. Too early to call. Help me pass this to uh, RSDWX. <laughs> Oh no, look at this guys. Nightmare versus Kamish right now. The lead now belongs to Kamish with 594 uh, hit points remaining on Nightmare's left tower. Those minions aren't going to get any tower damage at all. The minions, actually they did. Wow, I'm shocked. I am so shocked that those minions survived and brought it down to 2114. Okay, both players kind of sitting on full elixir right now. Kamish was anyway. Nightmare kind of regenning, and that was a nice zap spell right there, bringing down the skeleton army. So the skeleton army is not going to bring that tower down. He mirrors it. He's trying to get this time a princess will stop the skeleton army. Once again, the tower will survive, not taking any damage at all. So all of that was a waste of elixir. That was a nice log to bring the princess down. The giant's not going to take too much damage, though. And a goblin barrel this time. Will it bring the tower down? Let's see what happens. The minions are there to meet the goblins. The minions do save the tower, but the tower goes down to 170. So that tower is almost down and out. Nice fireball right there, doing damage to everything. The Infernal Tower locked onto the Giant like it should be. A zap spell right there. Now that Giant, though, the Giant making its way toward the Tower, but the Skeleton Army eats it and stops it. Elite Barbarians also get stopped. Red Shadow went to my clan and say awful words. I hate him, please. I didn't send Red Shadow to your clan. What, what do you want me to do to Red Shadow? I don't control him. I didn't send him to your clan. You gotta kick butt and use it. Kick him out. <laughs> Oh, MGR, he's following me around, is he? Oh, no. Look at this giant, though, guys. Is the tower going to go down? It does, and thanks to all those skeletons. Frustration right there by Kamish, man. I mean, no, no. Frustration by Nightmare. He almost had that tower down. 685 hit points, and that tower did not go down. Oh, my God. Skeleton Army saving that tower. I think that was two Skeleton Armies, by the way. Mirrored Skeleton Army saving the tower. Kamish wins, and uh, that keeps Kamish in second place. One minute left. Still 243 trophies for Wildfire. Kamish has to battle again. If Kamish battles, oh, and he is going to battle, guys. So if Kamish wins this battle, he wins first place. I thought he got demoted to Elder because of the clan chest. He's co now. That's right, I did. I promoted him again, dude. You know why? Because JC Dirt tried to be sneaky and kick him out and spam the chat so I wouldn't know. That's why. Kind of having problems with JC Dirt, to be quite honest, dude. JC Dirt's giving me some problems because he's kicking people he shouldn't be kicking. All right, so here we go. Anton Puka 223 versus Kamish. Kamish wins this battle. He claims first place. Don't know what's going to happen right now, guys, but I'm telling you right now, Kamish can actually steal the first place spot right now, especially if Wildfire doesn't battle anymore. Wildfire is just kind of sitting there in first place coasting. We do have two spectators in Clash Royale. If you look in the top right corner of your screen of Clash Royale, you'll see two spectators right there. So maybe Wildfire is one of those, and he's kind of watching this battle. And if he starts to see this battle go in favor of Kamish, he might go ahead and battle himself. He doesn't have a lot of time to queue up, though. So he better decide quickly, because right now Kamish does have the lead, guys. And he's got everything that he needs to stop that Royal Giant. The Royal Giant is going down thanks to the Inferno Tower. And so is the Inferno Dragon. How do you get Elder and Clan Killers? Donate a lot and make sure you meet your crowns, dude. You gotta meet your crowns in the Clan Chest. We don't ask for too many crowns when we say 20 crowns, bro. That is not a lot of crowns. You get three crown chests. During that duration of the clan chest, you get a crown chest every 24 hours. So technically, you should be getting 10 crowns a day anyway. If you want your crown chest every day, you should be getting 10 crowns a day anyway. That would equal to 30 crowns for the clan chest. But for some reason, people complain about 20 crowns for the clan chest. So yeah, you got to get your crowns. And donate. And be active. That's about it. <laughs> we need some active players. All right, so we got um 20 crowns, bro. What, that's a lot? Then you're in the wrong clan, dude. You're in the wrong clan. That's not a lot of crap. I don't know why people argue with me. I don't know if you're arguing or if you just think that's too little. But that is not a lot of freaking crowns to get, dude. That is like nothing, man. I could do that during a shit session in the bathroom. All right. So Anton Pook 223 doing a good job against Commission right now. Commission's right tower is down to 815, guys. 815 on Commission's right tower, man. Not a good deal right there for Kamish. Kamish has to win this battle. If he wins this battle, he can be in first place. So a lot is on the line for Kamish right now. Anton, not so much, but Kamish needs to win this battle to get first place. He does have to stop that Royal Giant. That's what he's trying to do right now. I think the Infernal Tower was a little bit too close because the Wizard was right there. Now that Royal Giant stays alive, it is going to get a... a oh, 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 oh. I was going to say a few shots, but it got a couple of shots. 
So he gets a couple of shots on that right tower. Once again, he's able to squeeze in some damage with that miner. Not before the wizard and the tower bring it down. 1041 left, guys. 1041 left on Anton's right tower. Is he going to steal it? There's a royal giant coming in. Inferno tower. This time in a pretty decent spot in a log for good measure. Another log coming across the map, though. And a fireball. Oh, four hit points are left. A zap spell away from victory, guys. He's going to use that zap spell. You know, he's rushing. Commission's rushing. Is he going to steal it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He stole it. I was donating a lot. Come back to Clan Killers when I get to jungle. All right, dude. Oh, my God. Why didn't he zap the tower? Four hit points. Damn. Commission first place now. So Wildfire decided to coast. And sometimes when you decide to coast just a little bit too early, you lose your top spot. He didn't lose any battles. He still has 243, which means he didn't battle. Kamish kept on battling, and he earned his top spot, guys. 256 trophies versus 246 for Wildfire. Now let's go ahead and show you guys my clan stats because I am recruiting, guys. So come on and check out my clan. For those of you guys that are looking for an active clan, I'm trying to build an active clan. So let's go ahead and check out my clan right now. It's closed because some jerk keeps closing my clan. Whoever you are, stop closing the clan or I will just demote everybody. And somebody set it to 4,000 trophies and closed it, which is ridiculous. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it to 2,000 and uh, open up the clan. If you guys want to join, um, let's go ahead right here. The hashtag is Y982G. All right, check that out, guys. Y982G. I do tournaments every two days for my clan. Check it out. All right, that's the hashtag. You guys need 2,000 trophies. Y982G is the clan. If you guys have less trophies than that, you want me to make an exception, message me on Twitter or Instagram. Both of those are at Pro Wrestling Gamer. Both of those are in my panels. You guys also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where you're going to get notified about tournaments on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is also in the panels, and it's also Pro Wrestling Gamer. But that is the hashtag to my clan if you guys want to join Y982G. I think I know who's closing the clan and setting it to 4,000 trophies. So I think you're going to get a demotion if it's you. I'm not going to go ahead and say it out loud because I don't have any evidence, but I think I know who it is. So we're going to have ourselves a little chat. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out MGR because MGR looks like he's trying to steal third place right now and he might be able to do it, guys. The overtime, though. MGR has 13 hit points and those skeletons are... Oh, the rocket doesn't make it in time. Wow. MGR will not steal first place, or I'm sorry, third place. MGR was trying to steal third place, but he didn't get the job done. That rocket just didn't get there in time. I think that might have been the last battle, too. That was the last battle. The game tells me, better luck next time. Commission first place with 256 trophies. Wildfire in second place with 243. Cummy in third place with 157. Then we got Claws in fourth, MGR in fifth. Uh, this dude's name I cannot pronounce. It's in another language. That's in sixth. Anton in seventh. Yoshi in eighth. Nutfi in ninth. And J Mall in tenth. Everybody else underneath doesn't get anything. That's okay, guys. As long as you guys had some fun uh, and you live to fight another day, it's all gravy, baby. If you guys want more tournaments, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Pro Wrestling Gamer. Make sure that you guys pay attention to the videos that I post. I post them every two days. It's Clash Royale. Join my tournament. The next one's going to be Clash Royale. Join my tournament 67. That's going to be it for this live stream, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. I hope you guys follow this channel. I love you guys very much. Take care and peace out. I'm going to sign off, guys. See you guys later.